How do you make it through your day? From one place to another, one task to another. How do you do it? Divya has poor balance and coordination. She has to wear leg braces to help her walk. At birth, Divya was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, a physical and mental disability that affects movement, learning, vision, thinking, and hearing. She's in special education, and because of this, many are afraid to interact or go near her. At school, children with mental and physical disabilities walk around alone, apparently ostracized. It is extremely difficult for them to make lasting friendships. As I witnessed this sad event, I wanted to give you a glimpse into a typical day that a child with disability experiences. Each day, Divya reluctantly climbs out of bed, brushes her teeth, takes a shower, slowly heads down the stairs, packs her backpack, and heads for the bus, just like any other child. As the day proceeds, her mother helps her do her homework. She just loves to learn. She tells her brother when it's time to eat. Sometimes she even brings him a plate along with a cup of water that is half spilled along the way. Wow. The family enjoys spending time together, listening to music, hanging out, playing games, or going to the park. She especially loves participating in activities with Special Olympics or Society for Disabilities. It's unfortunate that Divya is ostracized because of her speech, learning, and movement difficulties. She really is the most loving and caring girl I know. Kids with special needs have huge hearts, a place in society, and want to make lasting friendships, just as we all do. That is why there are many wonderful nonprofits in our community to help Divya and other people with disabilities. Hi, my name is Lang Power. I'm the program manager for the Disability Resource Agency for Independent Living, otherwise known as DRAIL. DRAIL covers Stanislaus County, San Joaquin County, and the Motherlode counties. Our mission is to connect people with disabilities uh, to the resources in the community that will enable them to have an independent life and achieve their independent living goals. Uh, access to DRAIL can be done by self-referral, a uh, referral from a community agency. We have a 26-year history of providing services in the counties that we serve. Some of our uh, services include assistive technology, information and referral, community-based living, benefits advising, um, and systems and individual advocacy. You can find out more about DRAIL by visiting our website at www.drail.org or also befriending us on Facebook. DRAIL is committed to serving the community and if you or someone you know can benefit from our services, please don't hesitate to contact us. My name is Oscar Lopez. I'm here with UCP of Stanislaus County. Um, we have two day programs located here in Modesto and Turlock. Uh, UCP, we really focus on improving the independence of individuals with disabilities. Uh, we offer many services from employment services to day program services. In our day program, we have an expanding group, and that group goes out into the community daily. Um, they participate in many different events. They go to the movies, they go bowling, they go to the mall. Our day program, we have different activities that we provide them with uh, from day to day. We have a cooking class, which we call Chef of the Week. From there, we um, have them prepare the meals themselves that they will eat themselves. Um, we also provide a photography class for those interested in uh, taking photos, making scrapbooks, different things like that that involve arts and crafts. Um, depending on the day of the week, it's a different class. We also have uh, activities uh, for physical education. We provide a, a class for that where they kind of uh, get stretched out by us. Um, we also provide different activities for them to get different um, exercise in. I've been with the organization for a little over three years. Uh, it's been a long journey for me. I've learned a lot from these individuals. Um, the thing I like the most is that they bring out the best in me and allowing me to help them with their everyday needs. Hi, my name is Wayne Brown. I'm the executive director of the Howard Training Center. Uh, we provide a wide range of services to developmentally disabled adults. Uh, we actually provide for about 300 that are countywide. Um, and uh, the services we provide range from kind of day classes, working on social skills and, and personal behaviors, all the way through vocational training and employment. Uh, you'd be surprised. We have crews working at Caltrans and City of Series. And, and we provide the senior meals for countywide uh, in our wonderful kitchen here with our executive chef. If you get a chance, come down and visit us. 
take a tour. I think you'd feel good about uh, the services we provide. Uh, and, and we believe we're, we're kind of involving these, uh, this population in our community better. My name is Chad Wilson and uh, I'm the summer camps director for Christian Brays. Um, we are a nonprofit camp organization that uh, offers five-day summer programs for uh, kids and adults with special needs. All of our programs are uh, highly adaptable and individualized, uh, whether it uh, has to do with uh, dietary needs or uh, physical restrictions. Um, our counselors are, are trained and we have a ratio of around uh, two to one. One of the ways that we try and have an impact on uh, the special needs community is uh, we just try to provide an, an ongoing opportunity to have a camp experience, get into the outdoors, but also bring them a message of hope and a chance to reunite with uh, old friends. Some of our campers have been coming for decades. We try to have a lot of uh, community groups come in, uh, the fire department, Christian Motorcycle Association, um, other uh, uh, volunteers that come in uh, from the community to help out and uh, just to have a they really enjoy uh, interacting uh, with, our, with our camp and doing the volunteer work. That I've been impacted in, uh, in big ways uh, through the camp, just the anticipation and the joy that I have to look forward to the summer sessions and uh, not just seeing our campers come back, but the chance to work with our counselors, the chance to develop a great program and, uh, and look forward to uh, a great future um, continuing on as we serve. And I'm Marcy Boucher. Executive Director for Society for Disabilities. We provide adaptive medical equipment consisting of walkers, wheelchairs, bedside commodes, hospital beds, and leg braces like Divya wears. We're a resource and referral agency for the community. We teach sign language classes, provide recreational and social programs such as winter ski, water ski, bike camp, day on the farm, bowling, and host the most beautiful prom you've ever seen at Del Rio Country Club. Divya has participated in all these programs, and because of this, she's able to walk, ride a bike, gaining her independence, socializing with other children, and making lasting friendships, letting go of her daily stress, having fun, being happy, and living her life abundantly, as all kids should. On behalf of the 87,000 people of Stanislaus County who have a disability, please support your local nonprofits with your time, your voice, and your financial contribution. With your help, we can make lasting impact on people's lives. The Society for Disabilities wants to remind you that people with disabilities are just like you.